Where do you think the water goes when it rains? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, to be honest, I don't really know anything about rainwater. Uh, no. Mm. Do I have anything about rainwater? No, <laughs> I don't. Um, in Nemo they said all drains lead to the ocean. <laughs> He's a bad mental student. <laughs> It'll either go into a drain, um, depending on where it is. So if it's Okay, so maybe some students understand, but most don't. So what is the right answer? Storm water! <laughs> As students at Duke University, we are always walking up and down the sidewalks and walkways on campus, bustling to the library or the next class. The purpose of this video is to point out the unawareness of where rain and storm water go, and furthermore, show some amazing projects on Duke's campus that are being implemented to address sustainable water management and where you can find these locations on campus. Three of these projects are the Duke Reclamation Pond, the Medical Greenway, and the Campus Drive Stream Restoration. These locations help treat stormwater runoff on campus, provide educational opportunities, and provide awesome recreational spaces. However, many Duke students are unaware of the locations and the purposes of these spaces. No! Have you ever heard of the Reclamation Pond on campus? Nope. Yeah, I think it's over by <laughs> Irwin. <laughs> Not at all. After surveying 135 undergraduates, a team of Duke students found that 90% of students are unaware of these projects. So why are these three spaces so important? Following the Durham drought in 2007, Duke decided to look into sustainable and effective stormwater management projects. From conversations that began with this drought, Duke decided to invest his time and money into a cutting-edge water reclamation pond, which reduces water usage, provides a chilled water plant, and manages stormwater runoffs on campus. To get to the water reclamation pond, walk behind the chapel and past the Bryan Center. Once you reach Science Drive, take a left. At the intersection between Tower View and Science Drive, take a right. And then after walking past Gross Hall, take a right on Circuit Drive. And voila, the pond is on your left. Our journey through Duke's water management practices does not end here with the pond. More specifically, those working on the water reclamation pond project soon realized that the pond's location would destroy many important stream systems for the on-campus watershed. Due to this fact, Durham required Duke to begin the stream restoration on Campus Drive to address these problems. Never heard of the stream restoration? Well, you're passing it every time you're on the C1. Look out the window. Next, Duke created the Medical Greenway, which includes a rain garden. The Greenway improves water quality, ensures water percolation into groundwater instead of into sewage systems, and cuts the percentage of pollution that reaches streams and ponds. The Medical Center Park Greenway is located north of Research Drive, which separates the Pratt School of Engineering and the Duke Medical Center. Beyond its practical purpose, however, the Greenway can serve as a beautiful recreational area for enjoying a sunny day, taking a walk, or eating one's lunch with friends. So, next time you're riding the C1, looking for a new exercise route, or even walking to class in the rain, stop and think about what you've learned in this video, and how many other projects on Duke's campus you have yet to discover.